Okay, so I am making some lasagna. So I haven't made lasagna in a long time, but actually the way that, this is pretty well filled out, but it's not, I mean, it's about a pound maybe of uh, Italian sausage, but actually most of this is, I actually have some marinated uh, squash in here, zucchini squash. I have mushrooms, I have peppers and onions that's already chopped up and blended together. So I'm gonna be stirring the, the uh, spinach in here. I just finished sauteing, I'm gonna actually stir it in to the mixture. And then I have my sauce over here. I'm actually gonna make it in this little contain this pan, but it may be too much meat. So I may end up having to freeze a portion of this. And I also have a cheese mixture, which is here, which I mixed this with the ricotta and then I'm gonna actually have some cheese on top. So let me go ahead and finish up. Yeah, so this ended up being a lot, even though it's about maybe a pound of Italian sauce, that's all that's in here is Italian sausage, there's some spaghetti squash that's already chopped up in here, onions, uh, peppers, mushrooms, and some spinach. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a dish and grill it bake it. So this is a Pampa Chef um, pan. I haven't really used it yet, but maybe once. And so what I'm gonna do is, because you don't need to oil any of your Pampa Chef items, but make sure that it doesn't stick. I go ahead and put a little bit of my sauce at the bottom and then I'm gonna layer it. I'm gonna put my ricotta cheese next and then I'm gonna put some meat and then I'm gonna put my noodles and I might layer it from there. So I did add just a little bit of meat at the bottom. I'm gonna put my noodles next. Then I'm gonna put some meat on top and then I'm gonna put my cheese mixture and then put some sauce. And I'm mix. So here's my first layer of my meat mixture. And if you don't eat meat, you can do whatever you like. You can make it a vegetable in lasagna. And uh, you don't necessarily need any meat. And I'm not using a lot of meat in here, but it looks like it's a lot because I have it mixed with quite a few items, which is special. So this is one layer that's complete. This is gonna be powered high, my goodness. You better hope and pray I have enough room in this pan. But I think it will be. So let me go ahead and finish it up. Oh my goodness, this looks delicious. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this off by topping it off with the cheese. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven. I have my oven heating up at 375 degrees. And it'll be in there for about maybe 35 minutes. 35 so minutes. here it is complete. I mean, it's not cooked just yet, but when I mean by complete, I mean by it's pretty much done. All I have to do is put it in the oven at 375 degrees and let it bake. So yes, this is the first time I made like a really small one. Usually I make it in a, a larger pan. So I was actually kind of like playing it by ear in terms of, uh, will this work it actually did work since i have a small family this works out well so we'll end up uh this is not what we're gonna have for dinner tonight but what i'll do is i'll go ahead and bake it and then i'll put it in the refrigerator it'll be marinate which is the flavors and everything and it'll be ready for tomorrow we'll probably have that maybe with a small salad so yes this looks wonderful okay so you, you see this is my uh pamper chef this is my bar pan here I normally put uh, something underneath any um, thing that I cook sometimes. Um, I don't necessarily have to. It'd probably be just fine. But just in case the safe is says you had it too high and it started to boil over, you don't want it to go into your oven. So I always put something underneath my pan.